Is the information that you are learning about online about your acne completely overwhelming you? One day, for example, you find an article that's all about how apple cider vinegar can heal your gut, which heals your skin, and you're supposed to drink four tablespoons on an empty stomach. And the next day, via a quick little Google search, you find out that you're not supposed to touch apple cider vinegar and that it can completely ruin all of your gut progress. Does that sound right? Today, I'm sharing the science-backed information that you need to help you clear your acne naturally, easily, and simply. Hi there, I'm Jill Therese, and after 15 years of acne struggles, I finally cleared my skin naturally and created my acne clearing program, The Clear Code, to help you do the same. Eight years and thousands of clients later, I've made it my life's work to get you clear skin without pills, creams, and or crazy hormones. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. First things first, I have bug bites all over me, y'all. I did yoga the other day. There's one on my face. Just bear with me, okay? When I had acne, the world was a different place. It was in the early 90s. Instagram didn't exist. God knows the internet wasn't the way it is now. Everything was really different. Finding clear information on the internet about how to heal your acne naturally was kind of like finding a needle in a haystack. So when I began my natural acne healing journey, I went right to books and scientific journals that outlined some key studies for me that really transformed how I saw my skin. So let's say you're a teacher, you're a stay-at-home mom, you're a police officer, and this is how you feel. You feel like I'm smart, I'm knowledgeable, I love science, I understand all of these things, but I'm still incredibly overwhelmed. If that sounds like you, I'm gonna outline three details that you need to know to start to heal your acne naturally, easily, and without overwhelm, okay? Let's go. Number one is understanding the basic principles of why you're breaking out in the first place based on science-backed medical journals and what contributes to the conditions that create acne at the pore. Number two is that you take action on this information plus what you know and observe to be true about your body and your skin. And number three is that you consistently monitor and track your progress based on one, max two variables at a time. A really common issue I see is that people will change everything overnight and then their skin will get way worse or way better and they have no idea why. Which makes sense because if you change 10 things, or even four things, it's virtually impossible to know what thing is causing, or rather what thing is having the biggest impact. So today, we are going to eliminate overwhelm because once you understand the following four conditions at the pore level that create acne, it'll make it much simpler for you to start to troubleshoot your own breakouts. Memorize these, take a screenshot, do anything you need, okay? Here are the four conditions at the pore that need to exist for you to have acne. Number one, you have too many skin cells at your pore. Number two, you have too much oil at your pore. Number three is that your skin cells aren't sloughing off the top layer of your skin the way they should. And then number four, which really like sets the whole dang thing in motion, is that bacteria, yeast issues, things get into that overcrowded, oily pore and a breakout happens. Now, to eliminate overwhelm, the information I just shared comes directly from a medical reference and they share this quote. Four key pathogenic processes lead to the formation of acne lesions, alteration of the follicular keratinization that leads to comedones, increased and altered sebum production under androgen control, follicular colonization by, pro, by P. acnes, I can never say that word, and complex inflammatory mechanisms that involve both innate and acquired immunity. The foundations of what I do in my acne clearing program, The Clear Code, are based on these four details. Everything that we do comes out of trying to assess why these conditions exist at your pore, which is based on a medical reference. So know this to be true. So now that you know what conditions at the pore need to exist for you to break out, the next thing you have to ask yourself, the three biggest questions you have to ask yourself are, why do you have too many skin cells at your pore? Why do you have too much oil at your pore? And why aren't your skin cells sloughing off the way they should? Spoiler alert, for number four, bacteria. You can't control that, there's bacteria everywhere. So don't worry about it, throw it away. 
understanding these three questions as it relates back to you, your skin, your lifestyle, your diet, your topical routine, your supplements, is the key to clearing your acne naturally. So what are some common reasons you could be dealing with too many skin cells at the pore? Acne kind of condition number one. I have personally found this issue to relate back to blood sugar management issues and overall inflammation in my clients. And here is one study that you can check out that indicates and points to the fact that a higher glycemic load diet, so a higher sugar diet, can negatively impact your skin and lead to acne. Here's the quote. I won't read the whole thing, but basically a total of 32 patients with mild to moderate acne were randomly assigned to either a low glycemic diet, so a lower sugar diet, or a control group diet with more. Subjects within the low glycemic group demonstrated significant clinical improvement in the number of both non-inflammatory and inflammatory acne lesions, okay? And here's another quote that discusses this. Another scientific study, quote, medical reference that discusses this. Decreases in fasting insulin and postprandial insulin and IGF-1 reduces the production of sebum, keratinocyte pr proliferation, and thereby reducing the number of acne lesions. Decrease in fasting insulin and postprandial insulin and IGF-1 are key there because those relate back to blood sugar management. Now this is not cut and dry, but I have found this to have the most impact with my clients. Blood sugar management, focusing on blood sugar management in my clients with blood sugar management issues has been key to helping them heal their acne naturally. Here are a few examples of clients whose skin responded incredibly well to a lower glycemic diet and who we focused on this kind of blood sugar management theme for and their results. Amazing, right? Here are some common reasons you may be dealing with condition, acne condition number two at the pore, and that is you have too much oil at your pore. I have seen this most commonly relate back to hormonal imbalances and or hormonal issues caused by blood sugar management, gut health, and stress. A question for you. Do you have oily skin? Type yes below because I wanna support you if so. And I need you to know that oil is a good thing. Oil, aka sebum, is really good and positive for you to have at the pore level and it actually supports just overall skin health over time. So don't hate your oil too much. That being said, there's a million different reasons you can have too much oil at your pore. I have found three main reasons that you're most likely dealing with oil at your pore. And they are stress. I know, it's annoying. Your hormones like epinephrine, stress, I'm sorry, epinephrine, adrenaline, cortisol, all of those can ultimately increase overall oil levels at the pore. So if you're dealing with a lot of stress, that definitely contributes. It's not like, oh, I'm stressed and I break out, but it contributes. The second reason I see some oil at the pore that we don't want is actually a little counterintuitive, I think, and that's usually due to excessive drying. I'm gonna share a study about this and a quick little quote. In addition to containing dyes and perfumes that can irritate and exacerbate acne, these cleansers are often too harsh. They can result in excessive drying of the skin, which leads to overcompensation by the oil glands and ultimately to more oil on the surface of the skin. Basically, you're over cleansing. I already know if you're watching this, there's a 75% chance you're over cleansing, which is fine, I did it too. But keep in mind, <laughs> you don't wanna over cleanse. The third reason I've seen clients have excessive oil at the pore that contributes to a breakout is also due to a uh, a higher glycemic diet and also some gut health issues. Here is a link to a study about this. And a little quote, cause you know I love a good quote. Insulin growth factor one, all, which is linked back to blood sugar management, a higher glycemic diet, also stimulates the, synth the synthesis of androgens by ovaries and testicles and inhibits hepatic synthesis of sex hormone binding globulin, et cetera, et cetera. Both of these stimulate sebum production, which is one of the pathogenic factors of acne formation. And here are just a few of my clients who focused on hormonal balancing, primarily my program, The Clear Code, and saw amazing results. So what are some common reasons you could be dealing with condition number three, which is your skin cells aren't sloughing off the way they should. This actually links back to what I just shared about excessive drying, over cleansing, and being just generally too harsh topically. Here's a quote from a study about why this can happen, et cetera, et cetera. Hyperkeratinization occurs when the cells of the follicles become cohesive. They don't shed normally on the skin's surface. And yeah, this can be kind of complex. So really 
for this unique condition at the pore, I like to go back to what I just shared about being too harsh. And here's how you'll know if, you be, if you're too harsh, okay? Can you answer yes to two or more of the following questions? Do you double cleanse? Do you oil cleanse and feel like your face is never fully clean? Do you cleanse more than one time daily? Do you use any type of manual scrub on your skin? Do you use a combination of salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide, different gel, adapalene, retin-A micro, retin-A micro, niacinamide serums daily? You're most likely doing too much here. And this links back to what we were just talking about in terms of using way too many products. So here's what I recommend topically as a topical routine. Again, there is no one size fits all, but less is always going to be more, okay? Cleanse one time daily with a gentle cleanser. Wear SPF, use a gentle moisturizer, use a spot treatment, and probably begin to taper off some of your products, but only do this with help. Don't try to do this on your own. It's kind of a, a losing battle. So I know my goal was to like limit overwhelm and then I shared a lot with you. So please forgive me, but if you take anything away from this combo, it's asking yourself, what could be happening in my daily life from an overall lifestyle perspective that is contributing to too many skin cells at the pore, too much oil at the pore, and my skin cells not sloughing off the way they should. Once you get to the root of those questions, acne healing becomes easy. And because I know your next question is, how do I do that? I have some resources for you. If you know you have a diet kind of high in sugar, I want you to check out these two videos. One video is on insulin and acne, and the other video is how to create an anti-acne diet plan, okay? If you suspect you're dealing with hormonal acne, so acne that's related to too much sebum at the pore, I want you to make sure that it is in fact hormonal because it's sometimes not. So definitely watch this video on the 10 symptoms of hormonal acne. And then also, I can't get into it in this video because it's too long and too detailed for me to go over. But your gut health and your hormones are deeply, deeply linked. So I want you to check out this other video called Leaky Gut and, and Your Skin, Leaky Gut and Acne, and really start to understand how everything that happens in your gut impacts your hormones. And for the third condition, if you think you're dealing with topical issues, I have a resource video below that I'll share the link to. And here's a little picture of the video itself about the clear code basic skincare plan. I'll share a link to it below again. And remember that less is more. However, caveat, there is a skin condition, a skin situation that looks a lot like P. acnes, but is very, very different. And it's called fungal acne, I use that very loosely. It's more related to an overgrowth of a yeast and it's called Malassezia folliculitis. And if you're dealing with that, I really want you to check out this other video. If you have acne that itches, if it exists mostly here or along your hairline and it doesn't respond well to topical antibiotics, I want you to check out that fungal acne video because you may be dealing with a yeast overgrowth as opposed to a P. acnes issue, and they're very different and they need different treatment plans, okay? Now, if you're still struggling with questions about why you're breaking out in the first place, if you still wanna know what's happening for you and your skin, I wanna help you get to the root cause of it. So definitely head to the link below and download my Root Acne Triggers quiz. It's a 10 question, 30 second quiz that gives you three action steps and three recipes you can start to try and incorporate into your daily life to begin to heal your acne naturally. Also, if you wanna join a safe, private, and empathetic community of people struggling with their acne just like you, we have a private Facebook group where you can meet other people dealing with skin stuff too, so find the link for that below as well. If you like this video, type yes below, like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you know someone who's tried everything for their skin, your mother, brother, sister, partner, cousin, neighbor, and they really suspect something is happening for them, that can't be helped by just taking the birth control pill or just using more benzoyl peroxide, please send them this video. I would love to be a part of their journey. Thank you so much for being here and make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to be notified when I post a new one and I will see you next time. Boo!